Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I was wondering if you could stop by at the pharmacy on your way home. Me? Why? Because your mother got hurt. She fell down and scraped her knee. I can't leave the house. Can you help us? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll be home late today, so I can't. Oh, working late? I'm going out for a drink. You know I'm busy. Again? Let's have dinner with your mother once in a while. She'll be happy. She got senile. It doesn't matter who she has dinner with. It's more fun to have a drink with my buddies. That's not true. I think it's best if we all just sit down and have a nice conversation. She hasn't gotten senile yet. You should be nicer to her. Are you sure? She keeps asking me the same question over and over again. And the worst is, she asked me, who are you? I'm always tired when I get back from work. Give me a break. I need a break too. But she's still your mother. You need to talk to her. You'll regret it later. I won't regret it. I can't tell she's my mom if she's acting senile like that. It's not like she doesn't understand anything. I can have a good conversation with her, you know? You'll see. Enough. I don't have time to deal with a crazy old woman. You have more time. Two of you have time would get along. Enjoy talking with her. My name is Sarah and I've been married for 25 years. I have two children and they both have grown up and gone out into the world. Then, my mother-in-law developed dementia. She needs nursing care. Hey, it's time for her to use the daycare at the nursing home. Can you help me with the procedures? It's hard for me to leave the house when I'm with her. Huh? Daycare? Why? Her legs are getting weaker and it's hard for her to use the bathroom at home. It would be a problem if she got hurt. Besides, I think it would be more fun to have lots of people around her and have chats. I want her to enjoy. And I want her to smile all the time. Does it cost a lot of money? Of course it does. She's going to be taken care of. Of course we need to pay. Then why can't she just stay at home? Why would you spend money on that? Why don't you take care of her yourself? Why? It's not about the money. I think it's better for her. You just don't want to take care of her. You're trying to cut corners. I'm with your mother 24 hours. I'd be lying if I said it's not hard, but sometimes I want a break. I'm sure she will let me take some rest. You're just at home every day relaxing. How can you say that? You're only spending money. Give me a break. I don't have the money to put her in a nursing home. Hey, it's not about the money. They have a nice facility. I'm sure she can relax. It's also good for her rehabilitation. I told you, we don't have that kind of money. Don't you get it? Were you that dumb? Fine. I'm sure you'd be happy if I used my savings, right? Your savings? You have that much? I worked part-time until your mother got dementia. I saved the money at that time. I'll apply for the daycare for her by using my money. You won't complain if I use mine, right? That's fine. I hope it's really your money. You're not gonna take out of my paycheck, are you? Don't waste the money. What are you talking about? I would never do that. Don't be so rude. Harry is always like this. He comes home late every day and even on his days off, he goes out from morning till night. Sometimes, he doesn't even come home. My mother-in-law's dementia is gradually progressing. It's too late to regret it later. Hey. Where are you now? I'm busy right now. Oh, sorry. You're not home yet? I'm not coming home today. You're not? Well, can I talk to you for a second? Make it quick. I'm busy. How about the three of us go out sometime? It sounds nice, doesn't it? Go where? Anywhere that would make your mother happy. She's not going to be able to walk by herself soon. So while she can walk, why don't we go out and make some memories? Even though she went senile, there's no such thing as memories. That's not true. She knows exactly what she's doing. So let's go on a family vacation. It's no use. 
What if something happens to her? We'll go with the three of us. It'll be more fun if we invite the kids too. Your mother will be so happy. No, it's a pain in the ass. What do you mean it's a pain in the? This may be the last family trip with your mother. Are you okay with that? Then why don't you go with her? I'll book the hotel, and if the kids want to go too, I'll book for them too. It'll still be a good memory. Hey, are you sure you're not coming? I'm busy. I'm not going. I don't have time for vacations. You have no idea how busy I am. She's your mother. Why can't you be nice to your one and only mother? Why do I have to work from morning till night on weekends and take care of an old lady on my day off? Who do you think is earning money? Isn't that enough? Well, well, then I'll go with her. Can you book the room? I'll ask the kids too, so the four of us. We went on a family vacation with my mother-in-law. It could be her last trip. Harry booked us for one night. It was not handicapped accessible or anything. It was an old and desolate inn, with poor accessibility. Even so, she looked happy, and we were able to spend a relaxing and enjoyable time. Hey, your mother can't walk anymore. Oh, good luck taking care of her. She's having a hard time rolling over, so I want some help. If you can't, I'll ask the nursing home to. If you have your savings left, you can ask them to do it. I think her pension will cover it. Pension? You're trying to steal her pension, aren't you? What kind of nonsense are you saying? My savings ran out. You are such a jerk. I won't let you use her pension. Why not? Why should I let a stranger use my mom's pension? I'm not a stranger, and I'm not the one who's going to use it. I'm using her pension for herself. We don't have time. A nursing home, huh? What on earth can they do? They're just playing around with senile old people. We can't spend the pension on them. It's a place for the elderly to relax. She's happy to talk with young people. Plus, I can't take care of her all by myself. So please, no. Then what are you doing there? You're here for this, aren't you? You're supposed to be my wife. Be useful. A week later, my mother-in-law passed away. It was sudden. But I was able to stay with her with my children at home until the end. I think she would have been happy. It was one day after she passed away. Thank you for your hard work. After all those five years, you didn't have a chance to face your mother. Was that okay with you? And I didn't know you were such a good actor. Huh? I was just doing what a son would do. Don't talk to me like that. You've never helped me taking care of her before, but in your speech at the funeral, you made it sound like you've been taking care of her all by yourself, and using eye drops to make it like you're crying. The kids were surprised too. I just did my job. And so, you once said you wanted to do what you wanted to do. What do I wanted to do? You said you wanted to let go of caregiving and do what you wanted to do. That meant I wanted to take a break once in a while. Don't say like I said something bad. That's not what it sounded like to me. So I'll let you do whatever you want. What do you mean? I'll divorce you as you wished. I never said I wanted to get divorced. What the hell are you thinking? No, no, no. That's what it sounded like to me. We're getting a consensual divorce, so there's no need for the property division, right? Are you serious? You want to get divorced? You're done taking care of her. I don't really see the point of you being here anymore. I'll start a new life by myself. Huh? I can't believe it. Sounds like you're leaving me since you're done taking care of your mother. You wanted it this way. No other choice. You're actually happy about it, aren't you? I'll proceed it right away. So once you receive the paper, fill it out. Okay, but can you wait until the funeral things settle down? Well, that's fine. Thank you. Now that it's settled down, I'll turn in the response. Are you sure this is what you want? Oh please, I don't know where you're going to live from now on, but get out of this house today or tomorrow. Make it quick. I didn't know you were such a heartless person. 
I do have a heart, so I stayed married to you all this time. You only saw me as a caregiver. Say what you want. I'm busy receiving a life insurance policy and inheriting the property. Don't make this harder than it is. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be busy too. I've got a lot of paperwork to do. You'll have to find a place to live and work. You have to survive. Right, well, I'm sorry, but I need to ask you to leave the house right away. Huh? Are you stupid? This is my house. I'm the oldest son, so I get to inherit everything that's left. Everyone knows. I'm sorry, but you can't. What? Are you crazy? I think a lawyer is probably on his way over there right now. I don't understand why a lawyer is coming. I don't need a lawyer. That house and everything in it is mine. Huh? What are you talking about? You didn't do anything. When your mother was in pain, you went to your girlfriend's place. Do you think I didn't know what was going on? What? She was your mother, but you didn't spend money on her. You spent so much money on yourself and your girlfriend. I'm cheating on you. You got proof? I'll sue you if you're saying nonsense out of nowhere. You're about to retire, right? You spent so much money, and now you don't have any savings. Oh, but you're going to get a retirement benefit. You idiot! I'm receiving mom's life insurance and pension too. You can't use them. I told you a lawyer is coming. Ask him. You took advantage of her dementia and tricked me. Give me a break. Your mother made that trick. How can an old senile lady make tricks? I'm saying she wasn't that senile. How many times have I told you? She just had a bad memory sometimes, and she was able to use her brain. But you believed that she was completely senile. Such a selfish assumption. Huh? Then why didn't you say so? I told you many times, but you didn't believe me. I mean, in the first place, you were never home at all. She knew it. And apologized to me many times. She knew exactly what was going on. Of course she did. She had been causing trouble to the family. She also said she was sorry for having such a son. Sorry for what? She was the one who had been causing trouble to others. Fine. What? If only there was one last word of apology, I would have reconsidered. But I won't tolerate it any more. Hold on, someone came. Hey, mom left the legacy. You never told me. Oh, you didn't know. Yeah, it seems like she had investments. She was so smart. She made a lot of money in the stock market. If only she'd use it, I'm sure she could have lived a more luxurious life. I didn't know. I didn't hear anything about investments. I only heard about it a few minutes ago. My lawyer told me she didn't leave me anything. I'm the son. How could be? Why? Because you did nothing. But thanks to you, I got to spend time with her like a real mother and daughter. I need to thank you. You tricked me. You knew about the legacy, didn't you? You're all about the money. She left me a will so there will be no trouble regarding the money after she died. See, your mother wasn't seen now. How can you rely on an old senile woman's will? I told you she didn't have any problems. She left an electronic will. Electronic? It seems like she recorded in advance. She also hired a lawyer to take care of it after she died. She is amazing, isn't she? Oh hey, you haven't turned in the paper yet, right? What? What paper? Let me take it back. Which statement? The one about the divorce. I'll take it back. Why? You know, you worked so hard to take care of my mom, and I can't just abandon you. That's not a right thing to do as a human. Abandon me? Right. As a human? I said yes. Come home, our sweet home. What are you talking about? Laughing my ass off. I told you the house is not yours. You were the one who was leaving. What? The divorce papers were accepted a while ago. Now I'm free. You're going to inherit the property all by yourself. What a greedy bitch! Your salary is for you and your girlfriend. You didn't take care of your own mother. What a greedy guy! You can't talk like that to your husband. What are you talking about? You're not my husband anymore. You're a stranger. A stranger? Wait a minute. Then I'll agree to the divorce. 
but you have to divide the property. Half of your property should be mine. I guess you had a little bit of a brain. Yes, there is such thing as a property division. See, so give me the half. Do you even know what a property division is? I mean, dividing the property into halves, right? There's also child support and alimony, and I don't think any of those sounds good to you. You're trying to trick me again. I'm not going to let you brainwash me. Just give it to me. You need to pay the child support if the child is under 18, or if they still go to the high school. But they are old enough now, so we have nothing to do with this one. Hmm. Next, the alimony. The one who earns more has to pay the one who earns less. I don't work, so you need to pay me. I need to pay you. Don't be silly. And last, rehabilitation alimony. I don't have a job right now, and I need to stand on my feet from now on. So, you need to pay me the educational fee. Then, how am I going to make ends meet? Besides, I've been hurt enough. The amount I should get is $50,000. You're a real fool if you go that far with your arguments on the amount. Are you really hurt? Hey, wait a minute. Let's calm down for once. Okay, let's wrap it up. Huh? Uh, okay. You and I filed for divorce. The court accepted it and were divorced. And after that, I received an inheritance from your mother. Did you find a reason to divide the property? But isn't that terrible? You're the only one who gets it, right? Stupid people. Look down on others and think only about themselves, don't you? You call it, the pot calls the kettle back. So, we got divorced without argument. I am at my mother-in-law's house, who was like a real mother to me, and living happily with my children who came back. My ex-husband came knocking on the door once, but thanks to the children, they sent him back. I'm able to live happily without any problems. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.